Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of a headphone stand by Any Pro. So this is an aluminum stand that can be used for over the year or on your cell headphones for display purposes and also if you don't have a rack or somewhere more convenient to place it in your room or office. There's also an interesting little dock at the bottom that can be folded up to support your phone so it becomes a media stand as well for watching videos and we'll see if it also can support a larger device like a iPad or another tablet as well in this video. So this retails for 17 bucks on Amazon which is a fair price to pay. It's slightly less expensive than wood headphone stands that have similar functionality minus the media part uh, for the phone. We see that the stand isn't fully assembled when we first take it out of the packaging just to save on space, there is an instruction card inside along with a few screws and a free screwdriver for assembly purposes. Down below here there is the base, which we can see is indeed made out of a solid piece of aluminum. Rubber feet at the bottom prevent it from sliding around on a surface, and there's also chamfered edges that make it seem, again, quite premium. The accents here are made out of rubber to prevent the phone from sliding around or getting damaged, and there is the AnyPro logo on the very bottom of the stand. Finally, there's just the kind of legs that support the headphone part, also made out of rubber with a few accents, and then it looks like a very clean, minimalistic uh, overall design. All right, so complete assembly takes less than a minute. There's just two screws at the base that you have to align, and that's it. It stays in place quite well, and it almost seems like a one-piece look from the sides, since again, the coloring and everything is consistent. You get one extra screw in the package here, so in case one of these maybe falls out or you lose it, you can have a replacement, and this is, again, what it looks like when you're done. Let's compare it next to a wood headphone stand. So again, this one is 17 bucks on Amazon, whereas these wood stands, which are also quite popular, retail for about 20 to 30 bucks, depending on which brand you're looking at. So they, it is more expensive, has more of this traditional design, but it's more bulky, not nearly as modern, and also doesn't have the phone holder at the, at the uh, bottom here. Overall, I have to say the aluminum stand by any pro is also slightly more convenient to use. I say this because the wood stand has a fixed position, which means that if the arms on your headphones aren't really elastic or stretchy, or if you have a smaller pair of headphones that don't uh, stretch as far, then it becomes a challenge to fit it all the way on the end. You can kind of see where the headband is almost stretching out of its original uh, natural curvature just to fit into this headphone stand. Whereas with smaller headphones, it doesn't fit as comfortably on the wood stand. But with this one, it's simply resting on the very top. So there's a lot less strain on the headrest and it's still easier to remove and pop in again since it doesn't require any friction to physically pop into the position. So I like it a lot more. And also you can maybe even stack two headphones or three headphones if you have a couple lying around and you're just trying to keep them organized. So you can see that it works quite well. Uh, it supports the weight without any problems, even if you have larger or bulkier over style, over the year style headphones. So next, let's take a quick look of the media part. When it comes to the media stand, you can see that a larger phablet with a 5.5 inch or 6 inch screen will still fit quite comfortably. However, a portion of the display will be obstructed by the headphones just because it's going to block the top edge. And that means if you're streaming videos, you're using it to watch YouTube, it isn't the most convenient process if the headphones are on the top. Uh, however, if you have a slightly smaller phone with a 4 inch screen, for instance, it doesn't become that much of a hindrance. It also works quite well if you're just putting it on the stand as an alarm or showing the time and date, you can still uh, you know, access these basic functions or if you're just playing back music with your phone. Um, but again, if you do want the best video experience and you have a larger device like the iPhone 7 Plus, for instance, you do have to remove the headphones to see the screen completely. What's also kind of nice about the stand is you have, of course, two orientations, although the angle of the device doesn't uh, can't be adjusted. There isn't a tilt uh, mechanism here, but you can position it in either vertical or horizontal orientations. And here we have you know, an iPod Touch. You can see it also fits quite well. This is a smaller device, or I can position it like this uh, as well, and that works too. And this is what it looks like with the headphones over on the top. Uh, definitely manages space really well, and since everything is vertically stacked, it frees up uh, a large portion of your desk and declutters your wires or gadgets, which is nice. Finally, if I do a quick test of a tablet, I'm going to show you that it still works as well. But again, it's going to be kind of obstructed, the display at least, by the, t by the headphones uh, if you use the headphone portion. But here is an 8-inch tablet, and you can see it rests quite comfortably on the stand. And same thing goes with even the vertical orientation. However, if you have a 9 
7.7 inch tablet or you know a 10 inch tablet it'll be more of a struggle to pop in this vertical orientation since the height of the stand is limited. Overall it works even for tablets and not only smartphones. One thing I do have to say about the smartphone media stand though is the aluminum base here isn't made out of a soft touch rubber and so the portion where the phone kind of is hitting the back uh, can be a little slick if your phone is smaller for instance. I will also you know Bit, be a bit more cautious if your phone is super shiny or has glass on the back just because that may scratch a bit more easily since there aren't any rubber accents or protectors but all in all it works quite well and I kind of understand why they got rid of any rubber just to make the aesthetic look a bit cleaner. So all in all I have to say that this is a great headphone stand if you're looking for a sub $20 option. Uh, this one is by AnyPro and in my opinion it's a bit more versatile and also better for your headphones in addition to decluttering your desk space than those wood headphone stands that we've also reviewed in the past. So I do prefer this one and you can check it out in the links down below. You can read more details in our upcoming article. But thanks for watching here OS Reviews. This has been the AnyPro 2-in-1 headphone and smartphone stand.